island hopping today. Well, one island. I think it's just medium. I'm a little bit hot there. <laughs> Have their little rice. I've missed the Philippine sticky rice, haven't you? How was it? Scary. I'm sure that's higher than four meters, <laughs> honestly. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Boracay, Philippines. We didn't finish the video yesterday. We ended up having way too many drinks in Epic. Actually, it wasn't even yesterday. We didn't film yesterday. We had a day off, relaxed. We are on holiday. Well, my dad is on holiday. After all, he done a little bit of fishing with some locals and didn't catch because he's no good at fishing. Uh, what else did we do? We ended up at the Henan, had another buffet, way too much food. And we went and checked out Willy's Rock. It's so quiet though, Boracay is so quiet this year, you can tell there's so many less tourists. But we are island hopping today, well, one island. We are going back to Carabao. We went there last year, but we didn't actually do the tour last year. We went there and then went off on our own to explore the island this year. I'm gonna do the tour and see what it's all about. So we've met our boatman. We actually thought that we were gonna be going from the same station that we went from when we did this tour last year, which is at the very end. So we were like, oh my God, we're gonna to have to walk for like half an hour. But it turns out, which we didn't actually notice last time, that there's another one right here and it's about two minutes from our hotel. I was facing all the sunlight and it's nearly time to go. We're walking along this. I remember doing this last time and I couldn't keep my balance. <laughs> it's really wobbly. It feels a lot more secure than last time. I can't remember how long it was. It's about 45 minutes or so, right? 45 minutes or so to Carabao. But I think we're going to do snorkeling this time. We didn't do that last time. Yeah, we didn't we ran do that off. last time. So we're going to do some snorkeling. I'm really excited to do that. I've never been on a boat this big before and unfortunately, oh, out here. well yeah, out here, unfortunately because um, everything's so quiet at the minute, there is actually only five of us, which is good for us as a group because it means we get more time to do stuff without being crowded, but not good for the boat team. We've made it to the first stop, which is snorkeling. We didn't do this last year because we rushed around, got them to take us straight to Carabao, and then met them. Met, they met us afterwards, so this would be nice to check out the snorkeling. Apparently, it's really good. There's lots of boats stopped here. We're actually quite close to where a lot of the old resorts are on the cliffs of Boracay got knocked down because of health and safety. There's one that's huge, like a huge five-star resort, literally right behind us. They got completely demolished. Um, I'm gonna change over to the GoPro and hopefully, hopefully see some fish. I'm gonna try to put the mask on again. Didn't work too well last time, so hopefully I know what I'm doing. and we are back on Carabao Island. The snorkeling wasn't the best to be fair. It was way too rough, couldn't really see many fish. We've come to a slightly different jump spot. We're at Cathedral Cave, which is next to where we jumped last year, but on a different section, so we've got some different jumps. We're gonna have lunch first, and then get involved properly in the jumps, because we sort of done one and ran off last year. This bit is so nice. Do you know what? When we saw the first one, we were like, oh, that one was really good fun last time. But coming to somewhere different, we never had this. It's like a full complex, isn't it's it? A Things whole to do. Complex, like there's lo it's loads to do, and they've and even got the hot bath where you get cooked. We've seen this many times. Well, I've got to do it. Do you want to be cooked in a? It's like a. What? Was, how would you describe it? It's, it's basically you're getting cooked in a pot. It's like a dish that you would cook a big meal in, right? Pop. Uh huh. We're gonna get cooked, but this is nice. There's so much to do. It's, yeah, I'm pleased we've done it differently there's to like, last year. There's stalls as well. You've got like fruit shakes and then there's loads of things to get pictures with. It's just really different and really nice. Wow, the food. I always forgot about how boat tour foods, they are so good. We have their little rice. I've missed the Philippines sticky rice, haven't you? 
unbelievable and then I had chicken skewers and the chicken was like honey glazed it was really really sweet um, and crispy on the outside Matt's dad had tried the fish what fish was it not sure it's really good really good so we had a big bit of fish on there obviously we don't eat fish so we didn't have that but I think I'm ready to explore the island and the mango shakes always the best so we have decided to quickly leave the complex and explore a little bit of Carabao Island. Last year we got a bike to take us to one of the main beaches, which was really cool, was the fact that the beach didn't really have a name. They just call it like front beach or back beach. Um, we're walking now and they've actually developed a brand new road. Last year we went through, like completely through the villages. They've now, they're now building like a highway, which is really good, it means it's really accessible for people to get around. Um, but I don't even know what beach we're walking to. Apparently it's 10, 15 minutes this way. And now we've come off the brand new main road and now we're just walking through the villages. This is what I remember. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to the same beach as last year. I'm not sure. Yeah, they don't know what beach, like the I love the fact there's no names for the beach. Yeah, I can't remember, like, the only thing I can remember is the rope swing. Mm -hmm. And there was a couple of, like, restaurants or one of the ones we went to and had a red horse. But they don't know what the name of that beach is. It's just Front Carabao Beach, beach. beach. Front yeah. Beach, yeah. gone and taken us to our own private little beach and it's like a little cove it's beautiful like it's just only about a 10 minute walk from the cathedral cave and it's called Mangalau Beach uh, I think it, they are all called the same um, but this is unbelievable we're the only ones on it it's so clean it's got the powdery sand it's got a bit of like shingle on it and the sea obviously has that amazing blue water. Complete opposite to Boracay. We've got our own beach to ourselves. The water is just as clear. Remember, this is only like a 30 minute boat drive from Boracay. The water is just as clear. The beach is just as clean. If anything, rock with a tiny little cove, it's even more beautiful. You see this? Absolutely no one. minute walk back and now it's my turn to get cooked in the hot pot we've seen it all over the philippines it's definitely a thing to do look at it i'm it gonna is, be on fire it is burning how hot is it is it hot yeah very oh, hot oh no i am see i'm getting in cooked. yeah be careful oh my god it's bubbling don't touch oh, yeah. okay don't touch the metal so how do, do i put shoes on <laughs> Woo. Woo. okay and i can sit yeah Wait, I can touch this, right? No, 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 it's up because it's hot. But this side? Yeah. Okay, okay. Aha! You're sitting down? Yeah. How is it? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I'm really gonna literally, nice. We're going to literally keep you in here all day. I do think I can smell like burning flesh though, is that me? You're on the barbecue too. <laughs> That is really going now. Yeah, I'm starting to cook, I can't lie. You smell quite nice. <laughs> it smells nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll be really brown when I get out. Ready to be eaten. Thank you so much. Medium to well done. I think it's just medium, I'm a little bit hot there. <laughs> Molly has been cooked and we've now walked down to the cliff jump. We've done it last year, but this year they're looking a little bit higher. And I haven't done one since Siki Haw. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too sure I'm going to get on here.
How was it? Scary. I'm sure that's higher than four metres, <laughs> honestly. This is a proper deja vu moment. Definitely going from a higher point. Oh, I'm never any good at these. Never any good. Walk in the plank, check my I always think I've got a phone in my pocket. Here we go. Three, two, one. Why did I do it with my sunglasses on? How was that? I don't know why I jumped with my sunglasses in my pocket. But I don't know if I can do the nine meters, I don't know. They're doing it like, look, ready? Ready? That's they're, you, they're they've shown you up. They're professionals. I reckon he should do it. It's your turn then. You have got none. Is he coming up is the question. <laughs> I got there. In the end, I had to. I had the little kids shouting at me, telling them I was a baby because I only done the baby jump. But it took me long enough to do it. Even my dad done one of the jumps. If my dad's done one of the jumps, I had to do the big jumps. But somebody didn't do any of the jumps. Molly has lost all reputation for us. We're standing there trying to make a video. She, she wouldn't even jump. Just made it back in time for another Boracay sunset, our last Boracay sunset for this year, I think. My dad has absolutely loved it. I think it was the best place to take him. First of all, it's easy. The beach is incredible. There's so many great places to eat. And that just never gets old. Everyone's out again. All the families, everyone just comes running down to make sunset. It, get, it must be the busiest time. The only beach I know that is busier at sunset than it is in the day. It's so impressive, it's just leaving the horizon now. Um, but the tour itself, highly, highly recommend the Carabao Island tour. Last year, the company we've done it with wasn't as good. I'll link the company we've done it with below. Highly recommend them. They have got their own little setup there. You can go and get cooked. The guide will take you around to the beach or you can find the beach yourself. It's a lot closer, only 10 minute walk. Really good, the cliff jumping was good. My dad even jumped off the cliff. But it's all about this sunset right now. I actually think the sunset's better when the sun's completely gone in Boracay because you get this like pink, red, purple, every colour you can think of, the sky just goes, it's, it's crazy, it, it's, it's incredible, seriously. Definitely the best sunset you'll ever see anywhere. I've never seen a better sunset anywhere than in Boracay. But, now the sunset, sunset, it's time for beer. Thank you. Did you enjoy the sunset from up here? Yeah. Are what a way to it? have a balcony. It looks amazing, doesn't it? We started the video here. Probably end the video here. <laughs> when I'm looking very burnt and I'm very, very sore. But today was absolutely amazing. I had such a good time. I'm very tired now though. I'm going to have my last beer on the balcony. But not my last beer tonight. And then we're going to go out for our last Boracay dinner. Not sure where we're going to go yet. Do you have any thoughts? I'm not sure. I'm just going to enjoy that. <laughs> And I'm going to enjoy this and a few more of these. We'll see you tomorrow. Dad's first Philippines travel day.